All right, here we're going to find the equation of an ellipse, again, that's centered at the origin. It's got a minor axis of length 6, and the foci are going to be located at positive negative 8, comma, 0. So, all righty, a uh, little sketch here. So our foci are at 8, comma, 0, and at negative 8, comma, 0. So there's our foci, and again we know the foci lie along the uh, lie along the major axis. So in this case, we know our major axis is going to be horizontal. So already that tells me that it's of the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one, where a is greater than b. So again, notice the formula always looks the same. The only difference is depending on if the number underneath x squared is bigger or if the number underneath y squared is bigger. You know, if the number underneath x squared is bigger, it's going to have a, uh, a, a horizontal major axis. And if the number underneath y squared is bigger, it's going to have a, uh, a vertical major axis. So again, that's all the a and b really kind of uh, tells us. That's how I think about it. All right, so a couple things here. Um, we're told that it has a minor axis of length 6. So that means if I go up 3 units and down 3 units, I'm going to hit a point on our ellipse. We'll hit those, those covertices, okay? So I know that the ellipse goes through those points. And I know eventually, you know, since these are the foci, I know somewhere it's going to, uh, you know, the x-intercept will be, one x-intercept will be a little bit to the left, and one x-intercept will be a little bit to the right. So, all right, there's our ellipse, roughly. All right, so again, uh, the distance from the origin to one of our covertices, that's going to be our, uh, our, our b value in this case. So already we know that we have a b value of 3, okay, so we can plug that in, no problem. And again, what we're trying to figure out now is our a value. Okay, we also know that the distance from where it's centered, which is the origin, out to one of the foci, that's going to be our c value. So in this case, our c value, since we're moving 8 units, will equal 8. And then we can just use that same relationship that we've seen before. Okay, so the relationship is that c squared equals a squared minus b squared, and we'll use this to figure out a. Okay, so c is going to be 8 squared equals a squared minus b squared, so 3 squared. Let's see, um, it looks like we're going to get 64 on the left side. Notice we'll have a squared minus 9, so I'm going to go ahead and add 9 to both sides. That'll equal a squared. Let's see, 64 and 9, I guess that gives us 73 as our value for a squared. And again, I'm going to stop now. I'm just going to fill in our equation. So it says we have x squared over a squared, which we know is 73, plus y squared over b squared. But again, we said b was equal to 3. So 3 squared will simply equal 9. And then we set all that equal to 1. And again, we now have the equation of our ellipse.